Hey, what is up YouTube? This is We All Juggle Knives with another Multi-Tool Monday. Yes, the day we talk about multi-tools of all sorts. This is the OW2 uh, multi-tool or multi-function pliers as they call it. As you see it as a pocket clip and the main tool on this multi-tool is the pliers. Now you might remember this same company as the maker of this pocket knife multipliers which I reviewed previously. A lot of people, well I had a really positive response uh, to this item. A lot of people said it definitely looked worth the low price. So I'll include the link to that. I actually got that before I got this and getting that and liking it is actually what made me pick this up. But I just did the reviews in the reversed order. So I've actually had that for a while. And this company apparently makes an entire line of this type of stuff, so that's cool. This uh, this little catalog just uh, came with these multi-tools. So before I go any further, let me just tell you exactly why I bought this multi-tool. It's all about the scissors. They are huge. These are like the best scissors that I've seen on a multi-tool. Oh, and the price was very low. It was around $14. All right, currently uh, Leatherman Sidekick Benchmark budget multi tool currently going for $40 on Amazon. So great tool, but it's not exactly budget anymore. But it's still a really cool tool. But if you need something even less expensive, now look at the scissors that this gives you compared to those on my Leatherman Wave. A great tool, but they had to shrink down the scissors to fit everything in it. Yeah, check that out. I mean, there's no contest. More edge length, but also you can get far more leverage. These are almost like kitchen shears, you know, or little hand shears that uh, would be great for gardening, too. Okay, so this is all about them scissors, but all right, let's not get ahead. Let's do an overview of every tool on this. So you've got the typical multi-tool pliers with the wire cutting portion and the various gripping portions. The handle of the scissors is also a flathead screwdriver and look at the reach, look at the reach that that gives you. The other handle has a Phillips screwdriver and again very nice reach on that. It's got a metal file and it's double-sided and it has a little cap lifter, bottle opener built into the file now this file gives you a little bit more reach than on my Leatherman Sidekick, you know, you, um, for the pull stroke. And also double-sided, whereas this is single-sided. This has a screwdriver. This does not, I don't know if you would count that as a screwdriver. It's quite wide. And finally we have the knife blade with the opening slot. Now this does not lock, so that's one drawback between this and uh, let's say the sidekick. For the sharpness on the blade, it wasn't that sharp, but it was usable. Let's see if I can demonstrate that. All right, so you see, it's definitely usable. It's just not like super duper sharp. As you can see, this comes with a pocket clip, but if you don't want to use that, it also comes with a nice little uh, nylon belt pouch. So more about the scissors. Uh, basically, the flathead screwdriver is also the handle for the scissors. Now it's a screwdriver, but if you pull it out more, it becomes the other handle for the scissors. And the scissors, you know, they come very sharp. Hold on, I'm doing this through the viewfinder, like what am I doing? Uh, they work very well. Hold on. Alright, let me find some cardboard. So the scissors can cut heavier stuff as well, you know, which I would be reluctant to try uh, with like little small like, you know, Swiss Army knife scissors or those, um, or the wave scissors. You can really apply a lot of force because of uh, the second handle. Yeah, I mean, this will go 
this will go right through the cardboard. And this cardboard is some nasty stuff. There's some nasty stuff there. I mean, it's, like I said, I wouldn't want to try that with some little small scissors. So final conclusions about this Outu multi-tool. I really like it relative to the price. Now, do I like it more than my multi-tools that are like, you know, $100 multi-tools from Leatherman or Victoric Victorinox? Uh, obviously, no, I don't like it as much as those, but this is the budget play, and for the price it is, this is head and shoulders above almost every multi-tool of the same price range. Most multi-tools of this price range, not even usable. Not only is this usable, but it has actual some advantages like those mega scissors. This would be uh, probably especially usable uh, if you do gardening. Those scissors are like almost like hand shears. And the rest of the tool set, uh, knife blade always useful, pliers obviously the basis of a multi-tool, uh, two different screwdrivers, a cap lifter, and the file. It's not a bad tool set. It is pretty nice. So basically this is a great usable budget price tool to give as a gift, um, to have as a backup, to have you know in your bug out bag. Uh, I don't know if you would carry this as your only or primary multi-tool. Most people would go more expensive, you know, splurge a little for their primary tool. But for all the other stuff, or for days that, you know, you just don't want to carry, like, your surge because you think maybe you'll probably only need a little pair of pliers. And as far as where to get this, I just got this on Amazon. I just saw it, and honestly, like I said, as soon as I saw the picture, the size of the scissors relative to the size of the pliers, I knew I needed to try that. Alright, so I'll include the Amazon link. If you want to pick one up, this has been We All Juggle Knives and Multi-Tools. I'm out.